Hello everybody, this is Michelle Littler with Owl Star Stampers. It is Wednesday, April 17th, 2019, and I am here to create with you again. So if you're watching on YouTube, um, thank you for joining me. If you're watching the replay, thank you. Um, if you would like to catch any of my videos that maybe you've missed, you can always go to my YouTube channel, Owl Star Stampers, and catch me there. So I'm a few minutes late. I was um, trying to get my host code set up because last week, if you remember, uh, my host code was incorrect. So, hi, I see people hopping on. Thank you for joining me. Um, I just see Anne and um, Bonnie and Mary. So, um, and Deb is on here and Shelby. So thank you ladies for joining me. Um, tonight I have a really cute and very fast little treat holder. I was trying to think of something, um, I gotta turn this volume down. It's like really loud. Um, something fast if you need something cute to hand out for Easter or something like that. And this little um, treat thing that we're going to make, it requires no adhesive, unless you want to decorate it, of course. So I thought it would be a perfect, cute little thing that you can make multiples up. You can use your designer series paper, which I'm sure we have lots of them. And you can also make these in different sizes. The other thing is, um, today I received my paper pumpkin kit. And I have to say, I... I wasn't going to open it up, and then I opened it up and only looked at the stamp set. So um, I have, um, I just cut some paper here, and I figured I'm going to make an alternative card with the stamp set. And then I haven't, I haven't looked at what the actual kit looks like, so we'll take a look at that too, because it looks like it's going to be really, really pretty, and I loved the stamp set. So um, before we get started, as people are hopping on, I do have... Um, one special that, um, that's going to be going on. I'm super excited about it. Um, so I'm going to go over that real quick. Um, and also, um, if you didn't see, the last chance list is out with Stampin' Up! So, um, what that means is all the items that are retiring, um, there's like two different PDFs. There's one for our annual catalog and one for... Our occasion so if you want any of those products or while supplies last um, except for the stamp sets the stamp sets only are guaranteed through May something or other so um so anyway if you want something it's not guaranteed to last so go ahead and, and order and real quickly let me this is my host code and I'm going to show you um, uh, special that I have going on. I have 10 of these available, only 10. And so um, this is what this is what it is. So if you go online and you place a $50 order with me using this host code at the bottom here, you have to use the host code so I know it's um, connected to this. And it's going to start tonight and I'll be sending out an email as well. If you do that, um, $50 order, what are you going to get? You are going to get the Lasting Lily stamp set. Now, this stamp set um, you could get for free with a $100 order during celebration. So maybe you didn't get it, or maybe you have it and you just want this awesome deal too. The, uh, just use a host code. But you're going to get this stamp set. You're going to get a full package of pearls. Um, and you're going to get um, some of this Petal Pink ribbon. And you're going to get um, to make five exclusive cards that I made um, with this stamp set. They're so pretty. And I stuck with the color theme, um, Petal Pink and Pear Pizzazz. And I use the Floral Romance paper. And look at this card. This card's really fun. This, um, this is a belly band. And it slides off. And then um, it opens up like this. So I'm going to um, type up directions on how to make these cards and pictures, and I'll email that to you. 
and then I'll send you a package with all your supplies to make these five cards. You'll also get a full package of uh, pearls and um, you'll get a good chunk of this uh, ribbon to complete your cards and you'll get this, the stamp set as well for only $50 order before tax and shipping using the host code. Okay, so um, if you want to get on that deal, you can place your order as soon as I'm done with this Facebook Live. And then um, at the end of the month or when they sell out, um, the first 10 people, um, anyway, I will ship those. So, all right. I see we have lots of friends on here. Um, thank you for sharing and, um, and watching tonight. So I'm going to flip you down and we're going to make a, a cute little treat holder and some other stuff. Okay, let me flip my camera view. All right. Okay, so tonight we're doing the little diaper fold. And this is just a really um, fun little treat thing that you can make. Um, so what I have here is a piece of designer series paper that is six by six. And what I took is the Brights pack. Uh, this I used in my online class this month. And so um, that's why I, I just grabbed that. And you could use 12 by 12 paper and cut it down to six by six. Or you could use this, make this with any um, square. So you could use an eight by eight, a nine by nine, a 12 by 12. Uh, it really doesn't matter. So what you're going to do is we're going to fold this up like this from corner to corner um, to make this cute little thing. I'm just trying to line it up straight. Oh, yay, I see more friends logging on with us. I see Trisha and Elizabeth and Michelle and Wendy and Melissa. Hi, everybody. So we're just folding that up like this, okay? Then we're going to take this left side, and you're going to um, kind of pull it over. So it's going straight across. So this point is going to meet the edge here. This point here will meet the edge here. And when it gets over there, you're gonna press it down. And then you're going to take your bone folder and you're going to um, give it a good crease. And then you're gonna take the other side and go to, um, you're gonna take the right side and go over to the left now to that same point. And then we're going to um, crease this down. Do you see where they where it gets the name? A uh, little so this is what it looks like so far. Then we're gonna take this point and we're going to um, fold that down, just like this, and it makes this little pouch, um, like that. It looks like it's like um, to me it looks like it's crooked, and that's because of the pattern paper. So we have this, and then what we're going to do is I have a one and a half inch circle punch, and I have some Melon Mambo ink, because that's what um, what paper this is. And then I took the stamp set Best Bunny, which I believe is retiring, um, and I like this stamp that says Surprise, because um, I thought this would be a fun little... Um, a fun little surprise for somebody and here let me grab my um I have my little foam mat here so I'm gonna put my uh, little one and a half inch circle on there I'm gonna stamp this surprise just like this and just so you know the photopolymer stamps like it it will stain with the pinks and the red so just so you know that that happens. If you clean them right away, um, it won't stain them as bad. But now my stamp set is forever loved with Melon Mambo ink. Okay, the next thing I did is I went ahead and I punched out a circle, another circle in one and three quarter, one and three quarter inches. So if you want this stamp set, um, don't wait. I would um, order it right away. It's super cute. 
Um, there is a coordinating punch. I don't know if it's back in stock. I meant to look. But um, regardless, I've been using this stamp set without the punch, and it's so cute. Look at that cute little bunny right there. And my favorite thing is hopping by just to say hi. I love that. Um, so this punch, I have it in both the old, old style and the new style. This punch, one and three quarter inch, is also retiring. And that's what I um, punched our circle out in. So if you need the circle punch, um, a couple of them are retiring. The one and three quarter, the one and one quarter, and the three quarter inch. So I think three. So you um, are not gonna, if you don't have those, I use the circle ones probably the most. So, okay, I just put a little bit of liquid glue on here. And I got on my finger, which is why I normally don't use this. Okay, I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to put a couple dimensionals on the back, which they're under my phone right here. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to put in this. So I'm going to put one on the top and the bottom. Um... And then I'm going to show you a few that I already made up in different colors so you can um, see. So this is going to, but look at, this has no glue and it's, it's staying together. That's why it's so cool. And um, this right here is going to go here. Oh, uh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth said her grandson had a magic show for his birthday and this will be cute to scrapbook with. Yeah, that will be perfect. So there's our cute little, um front and then what fits in here really really nice are Ghirardelli chocolates and I had one of these left over from February it has little hearts on it from Valentine's Day and anyway you can get those in any flavor but a uh, little chocolate fits in here um you can find lots of little treats that fit in here but here's just a cute little um fast treat holder that you could whip up several of lickety split and here is one in um coastal cabana and see if i take this out and put it in here um and then i started one in daffodil delight and so they all look different with um the different patterns and again this is a size with a six by six inch piece of paper you could make them bigger or smaller um you know if you want if you had a bigger candy or a even like a tinier candy you could do a four by four or whatnot so here is your first quick and simple project let me know what you think um and um now the next thing i'm going to show you is I am going to um, open our Paper Pumpkin kit. And so Paper Pumpkin is a monthly craft subscription that you can get from Stampin' Up. Um, you can, you subscribe and you get it every month delivered to your door and you can um, cancel or skip a month anytime you want. And so this, this came today and um, I opened it up. You can see I opened it up and I saw the stamp set. And I loved the stamp set. And so it has this distinctive, like that's our new uh, type of um, stamps. It has this distinctive flower and leaf. And then it has some really great sentiments. It says, happy Mother's Day, thinking of you, happy birthday, best wishes for you, thank you, congratulations. And then it has these little like dot things here. Okay, so this is all I saw, and you can tell I didn't open it up any further. So I did see that there was a gray granite ink spot. And then this is telling you that if you subscribe um, April 11th through May 10th, you're going to get an exclusive kit in May that Shelly Gardner, our co-founder, um, uh, like helped design. And this is kind of like... A picture of what the box is going to look like. So anyway, if you would like to subscribe, and I would love it if you selected me as your demonstrator. Um, if you subscribe, you will get this exclusive kit next month. But anyway, let's see what this month is because I'm going to make an alternative card. 
without even seeing what was in here, I already cut some cardstock and some designer series paper, and I grabbed um, I grabbed a thing of ribbon and ink pad. So I'm gonna make an alternative, but I can't wait any longer to open this up. And if anyone is local and didn't subscribe to this, I have one extra kit if you would like it for $20. So you get all this for 20 bucks. So, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Oh, I'm, this is so pretty. So this is what it, it comes. It looks like there's some cards and maybe a case. Um, let's open it up and see real quick, and then we will, um, make my other card, which, of course, I don't see any scissors. Um, let's see if I can tear it open with my fingers. Oh, maybe I'm not going to want to sell my extra kit. No, just kidding. I don't need to. So, if you would like my extra kit, let me know. Okay. The, so here's, here's the directions, and it is a little box to um, hold your cards. Oh my gosh, can you see how beautiful these are? Um, oh wow. Okay, so it has some twine, and it has some glue dots. And dimensionals, and it has um, some little dots here. And then it had oh, these are like um, little pieces, and these are like corrugated pieces. I don't know if you can tell. And then there's um, these are kind of like a note card size, so they're not huge, but they're still a good size. And the envelopes have they're lined, so oh. This is so pretty. This makes me so happy. <laughs> and then these pretty pieces here. Wow, this is beautiful. And then here are some of the card bases, it looks like. And these are already like die cut. So this is this is what the flower looks like stamped. Um, that's really pretty. And then we have, here's our um, box that you're going to fit your cards in. And then here's our other little elements. And I love it because they're already pre, um, you just kind of like pop these out anyway. So that's what the kit looks like. I'm not going to put one of those together. I'm going to make an alternative project. And um, you can see, I'll take a, um, I'll show you pictures of these when I do put them together. But tonight we're going to make an alternate project. So it, let me see though, does it say how many cards you make? It looks like you make quite a few. I was just seeing if it tells me somewhere. Yes, you make nine cards, you get nine envelopes, and you get um, a little stamp case to put, uh, to put them in. It looks like a little clear acetate box. That's what it's called. Okay, so... I grabbed Petal Pink, and I, because I'm on a Petal Pink kit, that's what that Lily stamp set is all with. So, thank you, Shelly. Yes, I finally saw that. Nine cards. Um, so, this, this piece of cardstock is just 11, 11 inches by four and a quarter, and I folded it in half. I'm going to try to, like, clear this up. And it comes with a gray granite ink spot, which is a an awesome neutral um, color. Okay, I have a clear acrylic block, and your first paper pumpkin kit comes with a block, and then you just keep it, and um, and you can uh, reuse it. Now, I did pull in um, my petal pink ink and my pear pizzazz, so I'm using a couple extra inks. And I cut this piece um, three and three quarters by two and three quarters. Okay, since this is a photopolymer stamp, I have my foam mat and I just have a piece of um, computer paper wrapped around it and taped on the back so that if I stamp off, it won't get my mat all yucky, dirty, whatever. Okay, so I'm inking this flower up. And I first I gotta look at because I, I don't even know what I'm doing. I 
I'm literally making this as we go. And um, I don't want, I'm trying to think of what I want this card to say. I think, I don't know. We'll, we'll just do the flower first. Okay, I'm going to put the flower, let me stamp it here though first. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay, I'm going to stamp it right up here towards the top, I guess. So I'm stamping it first. Oh my gosh, this is like magic. I don't know if you can see all the detail. Oh, this is why I love stamping. When when you just ink up the stamp, it's amazing. Okay, now I'm taking the leaf. There's like three um, leaves. Oh, Deb, I see that you want it. It's yours, Deb. The extra kit. Okay, so this is a pear pizzazz. And I'm going to... Um, I'm practicing. Now, see, I, I don't even know what I'm doing yet, so I'm going to practice. I want to put these leaves... Um, Let's see, where do I want them? It looks like there's an opening right there for them, which of course it's the one I have kind of going off. And then I'm going to, um, I'm going to put one more leaf on here. We're going to do it, we're going to do it up here. Like that. Okay, and then the next thing is I need a sentiment. So I think, um, hmm, I think I want it just to say, um, thank you. I think, I think thank you is good. Sorry, I'm thinking. Okay, so I'm going to have the thank you. And I'm going to do the petal pink ink and I'm going to stamp it right down here just like that so this is what we have so far now we're going let's put this card together it'll be a surprise for all of us <laughs> but I am super excited about this kit it's absolutely beautiful Okay, I'm going to layer um, this together. And I can see my snail on the other side of the table. It's like um, laughing at me because it knows how much I do not like to use the <laughs> this glue for card making. But you can totally use it, so it's doable. Okay, so we have this. The petal pink is just four by three that I'm layering this on. Okay, the next thing is I grabbed this piece of the Wood Textures Designer Series paper, and I did this one. So I, let's see what one, um, and I have this ribbon to go around it. So do I want the wider band or the skinnier band? I think the wider band. So this piece is three inches by four and a quarter. Oh, do I like that side better? You can't see a whole lot. I think I like this side. Okay, so I'm going to add some glue. I'm glad I can entertain you, Karen. <laughs> uh... Okay, so we're going to put this kind of in the center, um, just like this. Okay, then we're going to take this ribbon that is retiring that everyone absolutely must have. And it's been on back order like a lot um, since it came out. It is the Petal Pink um, Whisper White Variegated Ribbon, and it's so soft. And I like it because if you don't like ribbon, this is uh, almost like a seam binding, so it won't add a lot of bulk to your card, but it's so beautiful. So, this uh, ribbon, um, you'd need it. 
you really need it, not want it, you need it in your craft room. So um, I'm going to tie this um, just in a little knot. And I'm not sure why I'm tying ribbon when I don't have scissors because you kind of have to cut it. Um, so I'm going to grab my, I can see the scissors. I, I'll go grab them in a second. But so I'm going to cut this off and then before I go grab my scissors, I need to, um, I, I was sitting on my leg, um, like my leg, I always cross my one leg over, which I know I shouldn't do that. But anyway, my left, my left leg is completely fallen asleep. I can't feel it. And I need my scissors, which are across the table, and I can't reach them because my leg is numb. And I'm just telling you that because this is crazy. <laughs> I hope I can make you laugh because, um, anyway... This is a live video. Okay, we're gonna put this here. Okay, my I can feel, I have a little feeling back. So uh, I can go grab my scissors now. Okay. Oh my gosh. You would think I would learn a lesson to keep my feet flat on the ground doing videos. <sighs> okay, we have scissors. And I'm just thinking that I really need to tie this in an actual bow. Oh my gosh, I my it's like literally, um, I got my scissors, but now it's like tingling. I hate that feeling. <laughs> I'm going to tie a bow, so I'm just going to undo this really quick. Oh. And I'm going to try. And then I wanted to add some pearls. Come on. Well, maybe it doesn't want to be a bow. Okay, you know what? Take that bow. I've had it with you. Okay, we're done with you. And now we're going to try this again. And so I'm going to slide this in here and slide it through. And now I'm going to take, now I'm going to make a bow. Okay, here we go. It's bow time now. Make sure you get enough ribbon to actually tie your bow. Okay, so I have that. I'm going to, I can't do my bunny ears this way or I don't when it's on the thing like that. So here we go. We have a bow with our pretty ribbon that is giving me a very difficult time tonight. Okay, now that's a little bit too big of a bow, so I'm just making it a little bit smaller. Sometimes you gotta like um, fuss with the bows a little bit. But what's so cool about this is it looks like a big bow, but it lays like completely flat. So that's what's cool. Okay, I'm trimming this, and I'm gonna trim this. I want this turned so I can see the color. So did you see how I did that? I literally just, I held my finger down and I just twisted the end to get it to flip. And because this is like a more delicate ribbon, it worked with me. So here we have this um, bow here. And now the name of the ribbon is um, Pink, Petal Pink and Whisper White um, Variegated Ribbon. And it's in our occasions catalog. Okay, and now the next thing is it needs some pearls put on here. Um, so I have some of those. Mm, yeah, I did. Oh, I got rhinestones. I got faceted dots. Oh, wow, I have th three random pearls. Let's 
that's cool. So I'm going to put, I guess, these three little pearls on here. I'm going to put um, one right here, and I'm going to put one up here. And my last pearl, like literally this whole sheet is empty. Look, completely empty um, right here. So here is all our alternative card, which I, I didn't use the kit to make this. I just used the stamp set, but um, the peep, this is from the, the current paper pumpkin kit. But um, it's just a sweet and simple, fast and easy little um, card that you can create. I hope you like it. I wasn't sure how it would turn out, but I do like it. Um, Oh, thank you, Anne. Um, so, yeah, I hope you like that. If you missed the beginning, we made these cute little um, treat uh, diaper fold cards. Not cards, little treat pouches. They hold Ghirardelli chocolates or any type of little candy or whatnot. So um, I hope you like that. If you missed at the beginning, I have a special... If you use this host code and you place at least $50 before tax and shipping, at least $50, you are going to get the Lasting Lily stamp set. You are also going to get your own sheet of pearls, like the full thing. You're going to get um, a bunch of this uh, petal pink ribbon. And I'm going to mail you all the pieces to make these five beautiful cards with... Um, with the stamp set. So there's five cards that I created just for this. This one's super cool. It um, slides off and it opens up. It's like a trifold. So um, I only have uh, like 10 of these available. So the first 10 people, when I see that host code come through, um, they're the ones that will get all of this. And remember this, you can't buy. You got it um, with a $100 order during celebration. So if you didn't get that, or if you just want to get the package, maybe you have a friend that wants this. Um, anyway, you can get in on that. So I think that's all that I have for you tonight. Um, I hope you love your paper pumpkin kit if you are a subscriber. And um, if you're not and you would like to be, again, if you have any questions, you can go to, um, I think it's paperpumpkin.com, and then you can select your demonstrator. Um, I would be happy to be yours if you don't have one. And you get that cute little box every month delivered to your door. If you have any questions about anything, um, let me know. Uh, and I will see you next week. And I will give you a little heads up. I think next week my Facebook Live is going to be earlier in the day. And by earlier, I mean like maybe 10 a.m. Because next Wednesday evening, I have a stamp event I need to go to. So I will send out a reminder and all of that. But um, I think it'll be earlier in the day. So I hope you have a great evening and rest of your week. And thank you um, for joining me again tonight. Bye.